Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to create question banks within Schoology. Now, question banks have to be created within resources, either your pers personal resources or the resources in a group that you belong in. Uh, so again, they're not made in courses, they're made in resources. In this example, I'll go into my personal resources to create a question bank. Uh, the way we do that is we simply click on Add Resources, and at the bottom of the list is add question bank. Now I have to title this question bank. You can obviously call it whatever you want. Maybe I'll call it topic one. I can give it a description if I need more information on what type of material is in that question bank. And then you have a selection here to enable question tracking and you can read the text on your own. But basically uh, enabling question tracking allows you to collect analytics on every question within that bank and how well students are answering that. Uh, I suggest doing that from the beginning of the question bank because it only collects the analytics from the point that you check that box on. Uh, it doesn't go and retroactively look up analytics. So we'll hit create and at the bottom of your resource list you'll see is your question bank. Uh, we know it's a question bank. It has the puzzle piece just like a quiz or an assessment does in Schoology but it's within a folder. So if I click on that now all of a sudden this looks exactly like adding questions to an assessment. I click on add questions. I have all the different types of questions and all I need to do is create the questions that I want. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty good. Now when you uh, want to pull from a question bank. Well, let me switch screens a little bit and show you how that works. So here within a course, I've made an assessment. I've made a quiz and where I have the ability to add a question, you'll see towards the bottom, I can add questions from a question bank. This will pop up a window that gives you the ability to add individual questions where you go into a question bank and select the ones you want or random questions and I think that's kind of a powerful tool so I'll show you that one. When you click on random questions again you can either look in your personal resources or within the resources of a group to find your uh, test question bank that you've made. So if I drill in here I have this question bank and I want to ask questions from that question bank. Now I can see when I get this pop-up, I'm adding random questions from this question bank. How many questions? Well, it tells me I have 12 total, so maybe I wanna ask six. And that'll just cause it to pull six random questions and they could potentially be different questions for each student. And I wanna make them one point a piece. And I click on add questions and you'll see here it tells me questions one through six are from a random, uh, or excuse me, random questions from a set and there's six out of the 12 questions. So you can add multiple uh, question banks within a single assessment. You don't have to just have one question bank per assessment. And that's why it's kind of important when you're building your question banks to think about how you're building them. Let me try and show you what I mean uh, here. So. A lot of people think, well, I'll just take a question bank and maybe make a question bank out of an entire Regents exam. And that's great if you're working with maybe end of the year assessments because you can take questions from that bank, which is a Regents exam, and apply them at marking period four. The problem is if you try and pull random questions from a Regents exam for assessment on marking period one, you could potentially get material you haven't discussed yet in the year. So instead of making a question bank out of an entire exam, what we suggest doing is breaking down question banks into topics. So maybe topic one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to call them. That way, when you set up a quiz for marking period one, you can draw questions just from topic one because that's all you've covered. And then when you cover topic two, you can certainly ask those in marking period two, but you can also pull in questions from topic one as review. And you can continue to do that for marking period three and marking period four, allowing you to really make cumulative uh, based assessments. So again, the whole idea is uh, breaking the question banks into topics. Pretty good idea. But there you go. That's how to make question banks in Schoology and then draw questions on a quiz from a bank. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either Taylor or myself. And thank you for watching.